really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I wanted you and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which I'm sorry to say means your usefulness is at an end.
So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Vertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. What? What are you talking about? A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Please, even with Vertha gone and the inner sanctum destroyed, my duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel remains. I have been sworn to protect this veil and everything it represents until I die. For the time being, they will remain open. If remnants of our kind who escaped the betrayal at the hands of the dwarfs exist out there, perhaps they will find this place one day. May Oriel light your path. It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's... Well, before we spoke to my mother in the Soul Cairn, I would have said we'd bring the bow to my father. But after everything with her, I don't think we can trust him. I keep thinking that there's got to be another way, but he'll turn on us both the moment he gets the chance. No, he has to die. We have no choice. Thank you. Somehow I knew you'd understand. I trust your fairy. If there's anything at all I can help you with, please ask. The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sunbursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Absolutely. I can only do 20 at a time. Absolutely. I can... Absolutely. I can only do... Absolutely. I can only... Absolutely. I can... Absolutely. I can only... Absolutely. I can... Absolutely. I can op absolutely. I can op absolutely. I can only do absolutely. I can only absolutely. I can only do absolutely. I can only absolutely. I can only absolutely. I can only absolutely. 
I can open absolutely. I can only absolutely. I can open absolutely. I can only absolutely. I can only absolutely. I can open absolutely. I can open absolutely. I can open absolutely. I can only absolutely. I can only do twenty at a time. If there's assistance, I absolutely. I can only do, certainly. I can only do 20 at a time, but I see that won't be a problem in this case. Farewell, friend. May the radiance of Oriel fill your heart with joy.